we are on site at an incredible location. From the views, to the house, to a specialty garage, there are a lot of terrific ideas. You're gonna wanna see this. It's great to have a large foyer area, perfect for a bench. And there's even a powder room right around the corner, but let's get started in this kitchen. This is a terrific place, great for gathering with an island with seating around it. We've got a bit of a contrast to this island. It's designed to be more like a furniture piece. That was very intentional by the homeowner. We see some flush toe kick there, some furniture molding legs. We've got a lighter color than what we have on the perimeter. Now, both of these are the same wood species, both being rustic alder, but this has a green glaze to the stain. That stain still offers you the depth and seeing the wood and the different colors in the wood with those knots. There's a consistent theme in the cabinetry here. We've got reeded glass, which is vertical, very linear, and we also see that with a beadboard on the doors and drawers. So that's a great continuation right there. There's even beadboard on the back of this cabinet. We see some open shelving continuing that theme from the island. We also have a lot of very consistent heights with the cabinets, perfect for this pantry area over here, as well as the built-in refrigerator. But then we're increasing the height for the range hood, which offers more of a distinctive appearance. This is an L-shaped kitchen, which was intentionally designed not only to have a big window with a view heading out that direction, but also access to the screen porch. That screen porch has some similarities to the kitchen when it comes to the overall layout. Not only is the footprint similar, but also the vaulted ceiling with great big log purlins spanning the distance. Each of those purlins are equally separated within the space, coming down onto the log support beams. These beams are placed in a way where we still have plenty of walking distance between each of them. Now we mentioned the screen porch. This is not a regular screen porch. Not only does it have those vaulted ceilings, which adds a lot of great volume, but we also have great big logs framing out the porch, allowing for us to have great views of the lake as well as the rest of the property. There is terrific airflow in here. It is certainly a great spot to have friends over. A few things you may not have considered with a screen covered porch is of course it has great airflow, but it's not limited to just this space. We can open up these patio doors leading into the great room as well as the ones in the kitchen and it allows all that great air to flow throughout the house but it keeps the bugs outside. We also have access to the wraparound covered porch, which we'll highlight later in the video. We also made sure to utilize this upper gable area by doing some custom framing to allow more of that natural light and airflow into this space. Speaking of natural light, we also are welcoming that all into the great room area. Let's head on in there. There were a couple of intentional design decisions in this great room area. First of all, it was important to have a lot of windows and a flat wall going all the way across rather than a prow wall. They also wanted to make sure that they had a fireplace right at the center of the home and the TV was not mounted above the fireplace, which is why we've dedicated this area over here for what is a massive TV and then also two great tall windows flanking each side of it. So with the windows on this side, as well as all the windows over here. We've got natural light coming in from three directions. And then with the huge windows up in the loft above, we've got a great balance of light from the other side of the home as well. Above me is a seven foot diameter chandelier. It's putting off a beautiful soft glow of lighting, really lighting up that ceiling, as well as the spotlights that we have around the perimeter of this great room. With Pella windows and doors, we're able to custom configure any size unit that the homeowner wants. But what was important was to leave room for our massive log trim. So that's why you want to design this all at one place where we made sure that all this trim fits and the patio doors and the windows were designed to fit perfectly. Elements in this home like that massive trim correlate well with the big timber flare bottom post. We see it on the corner over here as well as both of these. When I say flare bottom, it's an exposed root bottom. We'll see that on the exterior of the home as well when we get over there. We've got a bedroom suite right over here, perfect for the guests. They even have a full guest bathroom. 
When designing a bedroom suite, it is common to have an accent wall, which this 10 inch hand peeled log effectively serves the purpose of. Whereas the rest of the walls in the room are a pre-finished tongue and groove planking, just like we see on the ceiling. This bathroom has a great dynamic of different tile work as well as the log wall finish. We also see the concept of it being a guest bathroom continued through by utilizing a pedestal sink rather than a cabinet itself. Oftentimes, a guest wouldn't store items inside the cabinet, which is why having open shelving is a perfect design choice for this bathroom. Oftentimes, that bathroom is only for when guests come to stay. We've got a powder room right around the corner here. Not only is there a coat closet, but this powder room is easily accessible. What I like about it too is that it's not open to the public area, to the main spaces where everyone would be congregating. And then right over here in the laundry room, what a way to light up this room with a great tall window. This is a great space with a utility sink, some more rustic alder cabinets, and it's also vaulted in here, making it feel very spacious. It's also nice where if guests do come over suddenly, you can easily close off the room with a pocket door. The homeowners utilize tile in that laundry room, powder room, as well as entry area. That makes a lot of sense. And then throughout here, They've warmed up the space by using a three quarter inch hand scraped hickory. There's even variable widths in the flooring. It has a signature appearance where you can see the waviness in the board. Now right above me, these are 10 foot wall heights, which allows us to have these great big windows. And we also have this huge half log stair system. So this has a half log stringer on each side of it and then half log treads going across. We're also following up the railing with our cedar spindles and rails. And then right at the loft's edge is custom metal artwork inlaid into the railing system. We've made our way to the primary suite. And something that was very important to the homeowners was that they had great views outside, which is why this entire gable wall has been filled with windows. The bottom row are operable units, those are awnings which are perfect if you want to leave the windows open, even if it's raining outside. The homeowners comment on how much they enjoy being able to see the view outside. Now take a look at this. We've got custom bookshelves. There is even a custom made ladder. And the whole point of this was so that the homeowners could easily access the hardware for the windows to crank them open. Now that brings in so much light that it also overflows into the primary bathroom. So take a look at this. The doors leading into this space, they've got rain glass on them, just like what we saw over by the closet area. And this just feels spacious and large with all the light coming in. The ceiling overflows into the main bedroom area with a corner whirlpool tub, two vanity sinks right here. This Kohler sink has a bit of a hammered glass appearance to it. This is really neat with a vessel faucet. Now we're not done talking about windows. We've got transoms above. And then we also continue to a custom unit that's made to fill this space. We actually see that in the other side of the room over in the primary bedroom. We've got a custom shower here, high flow pressure settings on these shower fixtures. It's great with all this tile, the combination of tile and the color of the cabinetry all flows perfectly together. So this is great for the homeowners who've got their own secluded space up here. They've also got a closet right in here, a nice walk-in closet with that same rain glass that we just saw over on the bathroom. Now I mentioned that custom window. We also have it right over here. So this is great. I keep talking about all these windows and the view and it just makes sense. With mountain homes like this, they're located in areas which are alongside lakes or high atop mountains throughout the United States and Canada. So let's get outside. Let's take a look at that view. We'll head down to the lower level walkout wall. This lower level is partially finished. Everything is already rough plumbed for an additional bathroom. It leaves a lot of great flexibility for the homeowners as they grow into this space. A walkout lower level is convenient. We've got paths on each side heading toward that lake. These log posts range in diameter all the way up to 22 inches and they come all the way up to the underside of the header on the covered porch. This home has a wraparound covered porch. Everyone loves that. Now, in particular, there is a gable covered porch above us here that offers a very dramatic appearance from the lake. It's also great because it allows us to bring in a lot of natural light and we can have gable windows up there. 
Now on the home itself, we've got saddle notch corners. These are 10 inch logs with a great hand peel finish. We've got those huge logs that support the covered porch continuing, just like what we saw on the lower level walkout. Many builders and designers will often lead the conversation of a covered porch with, does the homeowner prefer a sloped ceiling or a flat ceiling? At Gold Eagle, we like to start it with a conversation about the windows. If you want to maximize natural light and your views, we of course want to have a sloped ceiling. Increasing the header height allowed for larger windows, which is exactly what the homeowners wanted because they wanted to maximize their views. Which is also why we did a powder coated aluminum metal spindle. These spindles are not only a low maintenance option, but they also help preserve that view. Now, speaking of low maintenance, you may not recognize it, but the stain applied to this home is one of our high performance stains. This one has more of a satin finish to it, whereas many of the homes have a gloss finish. A satin finish offers more of a rustic, elegant charm. I love this portico. Not only is it a very distinguishing element in this home, but it's also very practical. Of course, depending on the weather, you're gonna wanna pull in underneath the portico. It's also very convenient to unload groceries right here and have the kitchen nearby. Now, when you approach the portico, there is no question as to where the front door is. Take a look at this. This is awesome. The front door has flared posts trimming it out. Those flares are a distinguishing feature of this front door. It's a perfect way to encase a door as grand as this. Having two three foot wide double doors allows for a six foot opening. These are fiberglass door, they are insulated. Everything about this home is super insulated. And they also have special metalwork around it with clavos. Each of these clavos were custom designed for the door from the size to the indentations made in each clavos. With the two panel planking and the arch top, it offers a very grand appearance when you approach the home. On an ultimate log home like this, everything is large in size. You wanna make sure to not overlook the lighting fixtures. So remember that huge chandelier that we saw inside the house? Well, it's also important to make sure that these lighting accents around the home, these wall sconces, that those are oversized as well. That way they don't get lost in all of this larger material from the log to the stone. Now take a look at all the wall sconces over here on this accessory garage. Because this is far more than a garage, there's a lot to see in here. But let's stick to the outside first, then we'll show you what's inside. When the homeowners met with our designers, they said they absolutely did not want an attached garage. It was more important to them to have a separate garage because it would more naturally fit the property. And secondly, they wanted to look as good as the house looks. And we can see that with a continuation of the same wall finishes that we have on the exterior of the home. They've also been applied to the garage. These are super insulated garage doors with that same metal work that we just saw on the front door. How great is that, that that continues through. They're also color matched to match the front door as well. Now, when you look at these big timbers that span the primary garage door here, this offers a very dramatic appearance as well. You may have seen this on a few of our other builds. The homeowners oftentimes would collect great ideas when they were in that planning stage and they'd send them to us. It's a collection of all those great ideas that make this home one of a kind, and I think that is a terrific feature. We typically prefer to have three different textures on the exterior of the home. The homeowners applied cedar sawn shakes to the gables up there, adding a third texture, a very new element to the home, which contrasts with the stain that we see on the window trim. It's perfect for a space like that where we don't have a lot of wall finish, smaller material like that, nicely fills it up and adds a lot of interest. We also have wood soffits and fascia. Soffit and fascia offers a warm embrace in the evening time. And when it's midday like this, you can see the depth of the textures in the wood. And here we are inside of the accessory garage. This is one heck of a place. In contrast to the home, which was very much a traditional log home, the garage has our exposed beam elements Using metal brackets is perfect for the industrial theme that we have in a garage like this. Right below me, we've got a huge floor drain spanning the entire garage. Of course, these finished floors are tapering to that drain. Behind me, we've got the Ferrari. We've got windows up in the gables on each side of the garage. And of course, we've got a ton of natural light pouring in on the front of the garage with a main gable as well as each of the dormers. Drywall is a terrific choice for a space like this where all of our natural light is coming in from above. That's bouncing around a lot of light inside here. 
Having wood on the ceilings elevates the space to be much more than just a garage. This is a great flexible space for hosting and so much more. You may have noticed a lot of tech around the home with the security cameras. We also have internet out here. The TV is hooked up. We've got a sound system. And of course, when you're building a brand new home, you wanna make sure that's future proof, which is why there are chargers for electric vehicles. Comment below and let us know what are some of your favorite ideas. We'll be on site at a new location soon, so be sure to subscribe. You won't wanna miss that.